think we asked you all about kind of defense to offense, but Justin, you specifically had a number of moments tonight where you were able to get out in transition because of what you did defensively. Just how important to your offensive game do you want what you do at the defensive end of the floor to be this year? Um, I feel like I'm at my best in transition, so being able to create turnovers and really get out and run, use my athleticism to really have benefit our team. But just in general, we got to use defense to create our offense, especially with the kind of versatility that we have, the kind of athletes that we have. Um, so I feel like if we just focus more on the defensive end, then we, we can get going. Mike and Greg. For Al or Rob, Coach has talked about pushing tempo for, for a while now, but it really seemed to click tonight. Can you talk about how much that was a point of emphasis and how effective you think you were? Um, yeah, uh, we talk about it every day in practice, pushing the tempo and just outrunning our opponents really. So if we can outrun our, our opponents for most of the game, we can run them down really, basically. Rob? Oh uh, yeah, I mean what Al just said pretty much, but um, I mean that's our main focus, just uh, get out and transition and score easy buckets. Great. Al, um, I don't see you have a stat sheet there. Have you looked at it yet? Do you know what you did? Do you, do you know how many shots you missed? No, I didn't look at it. Um, could you tell me? Take a look. It's right in front of you. I think you might know. Cool. <laughs> oh, we were seven for seven today. <laughs> we were, weren't we? Um, yeah. How does that feel? I mean, was it going? I mean, obviously, you're not aware of that as it happens. You're not feeling pressure as the shots mount. You haven't missed one yet. I mean, my teammates were finding me. They did a good job with that. And they trusted me to knock down the shots. And that's what I did today. I feel like I prepared for this moment. And it went my way today. All three of you guys were out there in the lineup with uh, Trace and Jerome. I think it was something like a 16 or 18-0 run there midway through the first half. For, for any of you, what was kind of working for that particular combination and just that whole stretch? How were you guys able to kind of create some separation with the Western all line? Well, I say our defense. Uh, we had a lot of steals and Trace, and I think Justin had a couple blocks too. And um, we got out in transition. And, um, that's where we're at our best. Go ahead. Rob, how, how are you feeling physically? Did you Have you started to, to feel the rhythm back in your game in, in the last week or just the last day? Or when, when did you start really getting better after the first few minutes tonight? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I want to say, well, I want to say I'm 100%, but I mean, I'm still getting my rhythm back. And um, I feel like this game is a big confidence booster for me. Uh, Rob, just to play on that, I mean, like, what, what's difficult for you right now, basically? What, what's, what's hard to play through, basically? How do you feel at the end of the game? I mean, what's the total physical. Uh, I mean, I'm still fine now. I would say just my rhythm, um, just sitting out like that whole month of October, and I mean, I don't practice anything. So uh, just the rhythm out there, and um, just pretty much getting our team, uh, my team chemistry up. So I mean, I've been out for a while. Good. Uh, for uh, Al uh, and Rob, 18 assists to 11 turnovers, the ball movement today. Uh, how encouraging was that to see, and any ability to take care of the ball as well? Um, it's a point of emphasis for us. We don't want to turn it over, but we want to, you can see everybody can contribute on this team. So I feel like 18 assists is great. We got to cut down on the turnovers though. Uh, Rob, there was one moment where I think you went pretty much face first into the floor for, for a ball. I mean, how much does uh, you just enjoy that part of the game in terms of going after those balls and things like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I really pride myself in defense, so um, whenever I get on the floor, be the first person on the floor, and, uh, I feel like that gives their team a boost, and um, we might have got a bucket after that, I'm not sure, but um, I feel like just diving, being the first person on the floor really helps our team. Justin, uh, I know the exhibition said there were a couple of awkward lineups out there. Did you feel like there was a little bit more continuity there on, on, on the floor with some of the lines that you guys had today that you guys look pretty, pretty uh, comfortable out there together? Um, yeah, I would say so. Just, you know, getting Al back that we didn't have in the exhibition, now we're getting Rob back in here a little bit more. But I think we pride ourselves on our versatility. So um, even in practice, we play with, you know, some weird lineups to kind of just fill some things out. So whenever we need to do that, um, we'll be ready for it. But I mean, a lot of different players can do a lot of different things on the floor at any position. So we're just going to use that to our advantage. Yeah, no. uh, yeah, Justin, um, you're, you're playing the three, it looks like, starting off, and I don't think you did that last year. Has your game, it looked like your game is advanced, not just because you're playing the three, but you were doing three things. Have you, are you better this year, or could you 
have done that whenever, and you just didn't have a chance. Um, I, I, you know, whatever Coach Miller wants me to do, I would do on the floor. Um, whoever he asks me to do, he wants me to play four, he wants me to play five, he wants me to play the one, I'll do it. But did you work in your game at all to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. handle the three more? Yeah. Um, I mean, it was a goal for mine, um, you know, to really be able to be more aggressive and more consistent on the perimeter. Um, so that's really what I worked on this off season, and, and you know I'm lucky that it's you know it's coming to fruition. He was here an extra month, Greg. In May. In May in school. Why are you telling me? Why are you telling me? Because you didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, Zach. I guess following up on the to Justin, you talked about embracing being one of the team's more versatile defenders as well. Last season, just. I guess where do you feel like you've improved defensively as a guy that did spend a lot of last year matching up with you know wing guys and got you know high scoring high volume scorers and big ten play? Um, I would say that on the ball and in ball screen, who my man is used to ball screen. Um, that's definitely going to be adjustment in the first couple games, um, and you know we're really working on it in practice. But um, I just got to keep going, keep keep getting better. You know, as we get more reps doing that. Um, it'll be second, become second nation. Justin, to, to kind of keep going on the, on the offensive end piece, but obviously the three takes you out further on the perimeter, but it also seems like you're more willing to make, maybe take guys down the low block from the perimeter and sort of take advantage of your size. Is that a, an emphasis where you're trying to make sure that when you have an athletic and a size advantages that you're kind of using that to you know punish your defender? Yeah, I mean, um, it's definitely smart to use your advantage, um, especially when you have you know, big guys on the wing like me, Jerome Demisi, um, we're getting guarded by, I think it was 6'2", 6'3", um, guys on the floor. So, you know, just using our strength and also our quickness if a big guy comes on to us, it's just kind of pick your poison at that point. All right, guys, thank you.